Hi, it's Linda West, uh, lindawest.com. I wanted to share with you the latest upgraded Nuzelia S3 cello case. Um, uh, it's pretty much similar to all the um, years past S3 cello cases. Um, the exterior is basically the same. There's been a few minor changes and things I want to talk about. There's some really exciting things that happened with the shell and a lot of good stuff that happening on the interior. So we're gonna go through this case and you're gonna see a lot of all these revisions have happened or are happening with the other two models as well. And that would be the um, S1 and the S2. Although those are different in the, the, um, the way that the uh, lid and the body meet. So those, those still look the same on the exterior too as my other videos, but there's the neck strap and there's other changes that have happened in those that we don't have to worry about anymore. So starting with this one, um, it's still the same profile. You still have, it's very, very lightweight. So you still have those issues where, you know, you don't want to leave your cello standing up in this case in a place where it might be vulnerable. And I, I'm sort of, that's my mantra with cellos anyway, just don't leave them standing up, lay them down on their side. As you can see, it's still a beautiful profile, beautiful silhouette. Um, the material that he's using is a really high grade carbon fiber. It's not like the Chinese, typical Chinese carbon fiber cases that you see, the process to make the shells a lot more high tech. They use compression and heat, and it's a very high grade carbon fiber. I hear it comes out of Japan, and so it's super strong, super light. Um, I come in back here, one of my things is, does the back flex? I um, push on the back, and it is super stiff. It reminds me of maybe my carbon bicycle frame. Um, so, and it's also, convex as like it was in the past, but I think this uh, material is even stronger than it has been. Um, we are going to um, zoom in on some of the features like the handle and the latches right now. Okay, uh, let's start with the handle. The handle has gone through several generations of changes. This is closest to maybe the second generation. It's one that I really like because of the feel, the tactile feel of the leather and the cushioning is really comfortable in the hand. But there was some structural issues with the old uh, original design because the leather just can't hold up to the wear and tear of a cellist walking with their case. So what they've done with this, you've got these rivets, you have integrated into the leather some strong webbing that folds in and helps prevent wear to the leather from this metal connecting ring that connects it to the hardware that attaches it to the case shell. This piece is also leather, but it also has laminated webbing in that. So that too will not wear out the way the original handle wore out. So this is a really good thing. I think a lot of people really enjoyed this feel of this handle and the functionality of it, and, and now the this, this strength issue has been resolved. The, the uh, draw latches are still the same, single finger action to undo it, and uh, they're lightweight, real practical, can't be used to draw a case closed that may have some obstruction there, so you really gotta make sure that the edge of this case is aligned before you start bringing these latches closed. I think the weak link on these latches is the hook, but that's not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing because I'd rather have this hook uncurl than break something in the spring or the, the, the um, active part of the latch. You can always straighten this back out and recurl it with some pliers or something. So that's actually intentional, I believe. I'm going to turn the case and we're going to look at the backpack attachment points. This is just how they've always been in the past. I'm going through everything in case the Musilia case is a new case to you and you want to know all about it. These are really wonderful. They are not D-rings that are riveted to the outside and hanging. Um, these are uh, embedded into a structurally uh, reinforced areas of the case. They're attached with four rivets. And you can see that this is not for a carabiner or a hook. 
This is intended for the nylon webbing to weave through here and through what they call a webbing clip. And that keeps all metal and things that might scratch the cello case away from the cello case. It's soft, it's strong, it's pretty much fail proof. Um, and the comfort backpack system also utilizes all of those attachment points. You can use the regular shoulder straps that come with the case up top for a single shoulder, down low for um, backpack style, or you can use all of the attachment points for the comfort backpack system if you really are doing some bicycling or trekking, heavy trekking with your case. Before we go into the interior, we're going to weigh the cello case because that's important. I uh, love that handle, it's super comfy. Here we go, Let's see if I can get this thing to cooperate. Turn it on. Five point eight pounds. Okay, now let's look at the interior. Okay, we have some features we'll zoom in on in a second, but I'm just gonna talk about them real quick. We have the neck strap, which is included on all their cases nowadays. This one is even more improved, the adjustment of the neck strap is um, easier to do. There's a nice uh, spongy foam protection for the neck. The scroll loop's still there. The main feature that I really, really like, it excites me, is the lower pad support, which is right around the structural part of the cello, around the end pin block. It has some adjustable pads in the lower bout area. It has this reinforced um, pad for supporting the neck button around the shoulders, and that's locking the cello into that neck button by raising up that lower pad, supports that cello, holds it in there, keeps it from rocking around, and we're gonna show you how to adjust that onto a cello after we get done with showing you close-ups to all these features. Okay, here we go. We're gonna look at the interior, and the first thing I wanna talk about is how a cello um, is fit into this case. The most important aspects of fitting your cello in this case are three things. The first thing is the shaped upper pad fits around the neck button. You have these, uh, these pads are fixed so you can't take them out or move them. These lower pads come out, they're attached with Velcro and you move them based on the width of your lower bout and what, what might support it best. So I'm going to take them out for now. The lower pad, once you set your cello in here and you set the neck button up tight against that upper pad, you will support the cello in place by raising this lower support. Now this lower support's new. The, uh, the old design had lower supports that were adjustable, but they were further out on the ribs. And this is better for the cello. It's supporting it at the end pin block, which is more structural. So you'll slide your cello up into that uh, neck support. You'll raise this up to support the bottom, then you'll tighten this knob down. There's some hole through the knob in case you need to get extra leverage. You can use an Allen key or a screwdriver or something like that or a small bolt. Your cello is set in there and then you'll fit these pads in to keep the cello from sliding side to side and this locks the top in from sliding side to side as well. Now we're gonna go in and um, actually put a cello in here and show you how to fit your cello in here. Once you get your cello set in here and you've made all these adjustments, you should never have to change it ever again. That's pretty much set. It'll, it'll work as long as you have that cello. If you get a new cello, you might have to change some things. Now that we have the case all fit to the cello, we're going to put the cello in the case and 
I'm going to talk about how to close a case like this. Um, the other thing I want to mention is the bow. You're supposed to loosen your bow after you play, right? But I think what's best in most cases, and including this case especially, because it's such a slim design, you don't need to have the hair flapping around and really loose because it can kind of bounce off the top of your cello and you get a little bit of varnish wear or a rosin on your varnish. So, you know, you can be, make sure your hair has got some, you know, it's mild tension. It's not tight, but it's not loose and flapping around. I'm going to put this in there, frog down, because I love my cello and I don't want that frog to dig a hole in it if it escapes. Now I'm going to grab the instrument. I'm going to make sure the bottom's in all the way and on that lower pad support, snapping in the top. Feels good, no side to side movement. I'm going to snap the neck strap, make sure it's tight. Put on my scroll loop so the next time I open up my cello case and unsnap the neck, cello can't fall out. And this is why you never leave your cello in a case standing up open. Now when I shut a cello case, whether it's fiberglass, carbon fiber, ABS, whatever, they tend to maybe on uneven surface they can do what we call racking and racking is this kind of action um, which means it's not really going to line up just all by itself on the floor so the best way for everything but no matter what case it is and especially these super light cases pick it up on the neck and just that kind of takes the rack out and it lines up up here at the top once the top's lined up I do the upper latches. I'm going to turn this so you can see. The next latches I do are by the handle. I just press it closed. Make sure the edge is lining up. It seems to line up really good. This case is not that problematic if you do it this, with this method. And everything else just falls into place. Both these lower latches, everything's good. And now I'm going to check. There's a little movement. You can make adjustments. And if I feel the cello moving, that means I would want it to lift up the lower pad and get it tighter in that neck support. The other thing that's super nice about this case is the way it hangs in your hand when you carry it. This is so balanced. The top doesn't feel heavy. The back doesn't feel heavy. It reduces fatigue. You can just carry this and it just feels so balanced. This is one of the great features of this case. So we've got a stronger Musealia case, a more protective Musealia case. We've got the neck buckle, which doesn't wear out. We've got a reinforced handle. Um, there's not much else you can do that uh, improves this case. It's under six pounds and it's beautiful. What, what more do you want? Thanks for watching.